A lot of people have been asking me, how well does this steel BT-121 actually drill a hole? And my answer is awesome, but it's a lot easier to show it to you than it is to uh, just take my word on it. So let's just quickly go over how you start one of these. On, all of, on this particular piece of equipment, you push in the auto or the uh, safety function, pull the trigger and pull this to start function, and it locks the trigger in place. And then with most two strokes, and this runs on 50 to 1, you prime it five times, it's quite warm out, but I'll put it on choke just in case. And <clears throat> this is the auto kick function. What the deal is on this is it's a clutch that prevents this from torquing and wrenching your wrists. I've used it a lot. I'm impressed. But you have to basically, this towards you is set so that the auger spins. If it pops and spins on you, your hip bumps it, and so it prevents you from wrenching your wrists. When you start it, you put it in this position so the um, auger doesn't spin and then you should just be able to pull it and pop it and then immediately turn your clutch back or turn your um, choke back off again and pop the trigger real fast so that it sits in idle I'm drilling a couple fence post holes 4x4 four so I'm using a smaller auger bit on it. Get yourself well positioned. And then engage your clutch. Take a look here, Joe. Push it this way and you'll hear a pop. Now it's engaged. And when it wrenches, it pops like this. I'll show you one more time again. If it wrenches and bumps your hip, it does this. Nice design. So let's go ahead and drill the hole. <laughs> Keeping your hips up tight to it, right? And I just popped it because I hit the concrete. So you can see now that it's in neutral, or pardon me, it's uh, the, the clutch is stopped. I put it here again, and I get my spin. I'll check that hole one more time, make sure I've hit the rock on the bottom. Yep. See how easy that stops? So for all those naysayers that say you can't use a one-man post auger and drill a hole, this machine does it. It is not 20-year-old technology. It's new technology. I love this baby. You will too. So one more quick hole. So you're going to start it again. Pull it to start, but you don't have to hold this down and lock it on start. You just pull it to mm, idle. It should pop over because this is two stroke. Yep. And we'll get one more quick hole here. But for the raspberries, which come right off, not a problem. Machine looks clean, tip looks clean, that easy on and off. And these two strokes are highly efficient for what they do in the fuel. So you'll be happy on that as well. But make sure you use your ready mix. We always use steels now because anything with ethanol in it just plugs the heck out of small carburetor engines. Maybe good for the environment. A lot of argument about whether corn ethanol is a good idea or not. But it doesn't matter, it's in most gasoline now. So go find yourself ethanol free, or buy yourself a, I think they're about a 16 or a 20 ounce can. You remember, Joe? Uh, I think they're 16 ounce 16 cans. 16 ounce cans of fuel. And that's pre-mixed with stabilizer as well. So if you leave the machine around for a while, uh, your uh, carburetor won't plug up on you. Take it easy. Thanks.